Josh and Emily are the leaders of the Let's Tend the Garden ministry at Vineyard Boise. As with any ministry at the church, the end goal is to impact the world and the people in it. The heart behind the, the environmental movement or Let's Tend the Garden is threefold. Um, the first one is we take care of the earth because God said to. It be good stewards of what He's given us, um, take care of the air we breathe, the land, the water we drink, everything around us. The second part is discipleship. If I can get people together out in the camp field or picking up trash, the relationships are going to be built. They will never be built sitting in a chair in the middle of Sunday service. Get you outside, get you talking and, and do it. Also by educating, getting people to know what are the issues. What is the deal with global warming? Well, why is there a big argument there? What about recycling? What about um, taking care of parks? You know, whatever. Educating people on some of these different um, issues that are out there. The third part is evangelism. It's amazing being able to go out and have a booth at Earth Day festivals, at Hyde Park, at environmental fairs, and just be able to talk to people of all different religions, Baha'i, Hindus, Mother Earth, atheists, whatever, and just, just love on them. Um, also, I can invite them to go camping with me. That they will never go to a church, but they'll go camping. They'll go pick up trash and chinden or whatnot. It's kind of just bringing those parts in. So those are the three areas that we, we work on as far as the environment and why we do what we do. I actually do respond to the emails that we get about the environment here at the church. And so I've gotten quite a number of emails from people who have been accusing us of overstepping our bounds as a church, getting away from the purpose of what a church should be doing, loving people, and getting off on this complete rabbit trail that the church doesn't even belong on. So I have gotten some of those emails that I've had to respond to. And I just go back to them and say, you know, we believe that by doing this, that we are loving people, that um, and and we are doing something that God has asked us to do. My own family sometimes look at me a little strange. Um, that may or may not have to do with the environment, but <laughs> <laughs> but there is, and and my response to that is again going back to they look at the environmental issue as being a politically motivated um, charge instead of looking at the biblical. Um, so I look at it and I, you, know, you love them. You say, you know, look, we're biblically, there's a response to do it. And if I can use this as an avenue to go out there and bring one person into the kingdom of God, I would, it's worth every bit of blood, sweat, tears, and everything, any criticism or reach to bring that one person into the kingdom of God.